So I have a question. What were your thoughts of Fan First Friday from Hasbro Pulse? Well, it took me a couple of viewings to actually really get the old emotional juices flowing. Because honestly, there's just there was just a lot and uh, and nothing at all at the same damn time. But I got to get something out of the way. Someone told me in one of the groups that I'm in that I don't cover red figures in a positive light because they like the red series. So let's cover them. Ready? Okay. Hasbro showed us two red figures. And that concludes our positive coverage of the red series. So in pretty cool news, uh, they're not to really any surprise, but they're officially announcing that they're re-releasing the retro Beast War figure Scorponok and the retro Beast War Tigatron. And honestly, the Scorponok, yeah, I remember that one. I love that thing. Like it had a bunch of features. Oh man, it's like all the features they pack into these things. Oh, I'm all in. And the Tigertron, yeah, it's out. It's outdated by 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 a lot, but it just looks good, man. Those 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 retro figures to me, I'm I'm enjoying them. Other than the Megatron, I'm not I'm not really feeling that Megatron. The I never liked it. I didn't like it growing up. I don't like it now. Um, and I didn't get it because I don't care. But <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm digging a retro. I'm digging a retro, retro Beach, Beast Wars line. Now we got to talk some ugly. This RC, like it looks like the vehicle mode looks okay. It looks decent. I mean, they're just kind of making up the vehicle modes as they go along. They even admit it now. They took some poetic license with it. But here's the thing. Yo, Hasbro. Y'all been striking out with these face sculpts for women. Man, this, like, yo, look at this face. Like, Y'all been striking out. But then again, what can I say? This is the same company that brought us this Scarlet. Now, look at this face. This looks like Scarlet mid-transition. <laughs> because Scarlet's supposed to look like this. Or even this. Th they've been striking out they got to do something about their head sculpts because man that shit looks tacky as hell but but not all news is bad news as a matter of fact we got great news they revealed dinobot sludge my man see i have grimlock i have slag um or sludge or whatever i want to call them i call them slag you slagged me um but seriously, like, these Dinobots, these leader class Dinobots have been absolutely amazing. Uh, Grimlock, Bolt, uh, Slag, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're, they're the old school leader class size. They, they, they're painted well. They articulate well. They're just so much damn fun. And this one, I'm beyond excited for like i'm 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 waiting for a pre-order a pre-order give me a pre-order somewhere um and this is going to be a pre-order this is a day one pre-order as soon as i see it up on as soon as i see it up there i'm i'm pre-ordering i mean honestly like I'm, I'm just this is this is it right here it's like i i want to complete the set we just need swoop for me i mean after that i'm pretty good at that point but we just need swoop and i'm done i'm good i'm i don't need any more i don't need another set of dinobots i don't need a third party set of dinobots i don't need that they they've officially won the dinobot war in my heart in my heart I was like I don't, I don't i think the third party ones compared to these are overpriced and we're literally getting what we want with these figures so there boom i'm all in on this and in things I wouldn't have been that interested in, uh, Junkyard, which is the remold of Rekgar. Um, honestly, when I saw some early 
leaked photos. I wasn't feeling this. I wasn't feeling it at all. I thought, eh, whatever. I got Riker. I don't need anything else. But I, I, I honestly feel like they've done enough retooling to justify me buying this mold again. It's not like the sweep. The sweep, they were bragging about taking the hand that was open and take from 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 scourge and moving it to the other side they literally switched hands and they were like new figure and they made it a little bit lighter and said new figure give us your money give us 30 dollars <laughs> like what the fuck no no this i feel like is enough to justify the 30 dollars i feel like they've done enough here to justify the thirty dollars will i get it i'll see what it looks like in hand but i feel like just based off these pictures off these renders um they've done enough they've done enough and we'll see we'll see like i said i have to see this one in hand i'm i don't think this is not going to be a pre-order this is i'm going to wait for it to hit a store a target or a walmart and then i'll look at it and say yay or nay um but we'll see so last year i introduced a fun concept called recolor summer and hasbro they, they that train is never late because recolor recolor summer 2022 is now upon us with all of this there's so many recolors and so little time <laughs> first off it's the buzzworthy bumblebee or the movie one bubble bump movie 10 but i don't know it's just bumblebee and i'm like yo i look at this dude and i was like they changed the faceplate and made him lighter, but he transforms exactly the same. Really? This some bull, man. Listen, if you're going to do nonsense like this, just give us one bumblebee and two different heads and call it good. I don't own the original one. I'm just like, bleh. But I'm like, if they thrown in a different head and charged I mean reasonably $30 and said hey here's some here's a head here's a couple of hands pop them in pop them out bada bing bada boom I would have been all in on this I would have been all over this this shit is corny <laughs> there's no way to say it this shit is corny and I'm I'm you know if, if, if this is your cup of tea God bless you but straight up this shit corny the way they did this is like just give us one figure two head sculpts some hands and call it good i feel like they're gonna miss out on a lot of money they could have made of just doing that but whatever what do i know and then we color summer man oh man we got uh the studio series recolor of 86 cup <laughs> I don't they basically just painted over the clear glass on the on, on his chest that's literally all they did they changed nothing they did nothing they made it a little bit lighter from what I look like from what it looks like and they painted over the 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 the, the clear glass on the clear chest plate what really Wh what what and you, you know, you do realize most people can do this on their own, right? I mean, my kids can paint over their toys and make them a different color. What? I don't know. Listen, if if you were if you really were holding out for this, if if someone asked for this, you know, kudos to you because I, I don't know how you got Hasbro to to comply. Because I, I feel like this was a hostage situation. But man, this one, why? Well, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not buying another cup. I'm not gonna have two cups in my collection unless they're totally different, unless they transform different or something. They have to do something different. And then even more insulting, even more insulting, the cliff jumper. Yo, okay. Granted, I like the cliff jumper. But they decided to make it more cartoon accurate, so they color over the windows again and it made it a little bit lighter. Listen, 
here's the thing if you're going to re-release this figure the parts for me has got to go straight up um if you're going to do this and try to gouge people for another 20 25 bucks um the parts form has got to be gone man like we've we've reached that point where you know it, it was fine for cliff jumper i i have that cliff jumper i even have the bumblebee the uh the netflix bumblebee no i'm i'm not buying this unless the parts forming's gone i'm not it's just not worth it why would i why would i get that one it's a custom job i can do on my own there's nothing ex there's, a, there's nothing extraordinary about this other than they made it lighter and painted over the windows that's it that's all they did that's a difference so there's no there's no reason for me to spend another 20 25 bucks on a tiny figure it's just bah boo 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 this man boo and the recolor we all saw coming 10 miles away 100 miles away matter of fact we didn't even need a telescope it's like basically being on a moon of jupiter you just see jupiter right there <laughs> it's like <laughs> the the uh recolor of ratchet into ironhide from the bumblebee movie we we all saw it coming we all knew it was gonna happen as soon as we saw ratchet they were like well ironhide's coming just hold out if you want one or both or the other or we knew it was coming and guess what it showed up and here it is nothing exciting nothing really to see here the head's different it's a different it's a different color nothing to see here recolor summer undefeated here we go recolor summer undefeated undefeated here we go so we have um sandstorm which is the recolor of scorponok and i'm gonna be honest i don't care for this mold i have the transform element scorpion which is far superior to this mold mold i don't want it if you like it get it the colors look cool but the mold i don't like the mold i just i don't i just think it's lame but that's my opinion if you like it you go get it and you enjoy it don't let some guy sitting here holding a glass of whiskey tell you how to feel but with that said how i feel is that this is corny <laughs> and recolor summer recolor summer undefeated again here we go we have the uh what is this night prowler night prowler okay cool so basically it's just a re a recolor of cheetor the cheetor mold which i don't once again i don't care for like this mold they hit their stride with tigatron they knocked it out the park with trigatron that cheetor you know i think it's the size making it smaller it makes it it's just a weaker figure it's just it's just it's not as it's just not good to me anyway i don't think it's that great and i have the mp version so i'm like why do i need this i don't need this but once again don't let me deter you if you like it i just don't i just think they could have still could have done better with this so then we have buzzsaw buzzsaw which is the repainting different head version of waspinator and i mean i no just <laughs> just no <laughs> i like i, I kind of like the waspinator mold a bit i i think it's pretty cool um it has it's it has it has some flaws to it but you know it just it just pops because it because of the colors alone it just pops on on a shelf i don't see that same thing here i don't i don't see anything extraordinary about this recolor um other than that it's just happening during recolor summer 2022 <laughs> so before all this they brought out the nice young asian lady to uh tell us about some of the other project pro transformers projects that are happening right now 
uh, that they're in development for. So they showed us a VR video game, boo. Um, but interesting enough, they have the uh, Transformers um, Com app uh, story voiced by Peter Cullen. Now, I gotta say, I listened to this while I was on vacation with my uh, family. My son thought it was super cool. And I was, and I actually thought it was kind of cool too. It was very, it was just very well done. It was just very well done. It's like it, it, it's, and it's basically just an audio book from Optimus Prime's perspective, from all, from just different stories, different places he's seen, like the breakdown. Oh, it's just, it's, it, it's an extraordinary experience. I really enjoyed this, and I hope that. Um, people get a chance to to enjoy it because my my god it, it's just so well done it's such a well done piece of 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 work um but yeah if you get a chance to check that out check that out that was that was great especially if you have kids and you want them to calm the hell down over transformers <laughs> with some transformers in the background it's like giving them benadryl with, <laughs> with transformers <laughs> it's it's pretty dope uh yeah check it out um and yeah the idw stuff so um i think there's a reason why I, there's many reasons why idw is los losing their licenses um <laughs> one of them is the fact that it seems that every year the transformers in the comics are fighting another ancient evil from the heart of cybertron or from some distant planet on the other end of the galaxy that happened to come into contact and reactivate some ancient evil or something or like the uh, uh, you know a black hole opened up you know a million miles from cybertron and all of a sudden like another unicron pops out and he wants to eat the entire galaxy and i don't i yeah it's just there these stories are just becoming boring and unoriginal but you know whatever i you know uh but the artwork is fantastic the artwork is is cool like if you're an illiterate transformers fan these are the comic books for you <laughs> like, <laughs> that's essentially what these are these these are these are for the the non-reading readers who just want to look at pretty pictures of transformers that's exactly what these are um and then we have the i think they're doing the whole shattered glass like binder book thing they're gonna dump them all and i don't know what they're doing i just saw a picture of shattered glass i was half paying attention at that point but i was like oh okay i'm probably just gonna make a graphic novel of shattered glass which i'm like eh, that sounds cool i guess i don't know what they're doing with it i just saw shattered glass and i was like eh, that's cool but I can honestly say, all in all, um, it was a pretty, it was a pretty interesting Fan First Friday. It was pretty, it was a pretty fun experience. I mean, I, I, I felt the energy. I, mean, I, I, I just want my Dinobots. I don't really care for much else. I mean, they could have, they could have shown me Sludge and 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 just several dozen piles of shit, which in some ways I feel like they kind of did, but. <laughs> But yeah, it's cool. It was cool. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to a few things on here. But um, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They show like some Le Legends class, like uh, Sam Witwicky. Not Sam. It wasn't Sam. It was uh, Spike. They showed Spike. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I gave so little of an F that. I didn't even bother taking a picture to post it on this video. So yeah, they show that, whatever. Um, <laughs> but with that said, please feel free, like, share, comment, subscribe. With that said, be safe, be good. And it's the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer and signing off.